Okay, calculating indicated horsepower, and again, we're going to look at a theoretical value for indicated horsepower. And I've given some numbers here based on requirements to actually calculate out indicated horsepower. So our bore is 6.280 inches. Our stroke is 3.33 inches. We have six cylinders in application. The clearance volume established in this engine is 105.72 cc's. The atmospheric pressure is the nominal, which is 14.7 psi. The mean effective pressure that I've given for this formula calculation is 407.46 psi. The RPMs in application that this engine is going to run at is 1825 RPMs. So we have to go now and take a look at and define some of these and maybe even change some of these so that we actually have numbers that we can put into the formula for indicated horsepower. So the bore, we have to establish the area from the bore to use in the formula calculation for indicated horsepower. So that works out to, and in a prior video, you will see the formula calculation, and we've established the area to be 30.97 inches. So in that particular case, we've established this number now to put into our indicated horsepower formula. The stroke now, we have to change the stroke in the indicated horsepower formula because we need to take a look at the length in stroke feet. So in order to get the length in stroke feet, we divide by 12. And if we divide by 12, that gives us a value of 0.2775. Six cylinders in application, there's nothing we have to do here. The clearance volume, because the engine is already in an imperial value, we should change this and stay to a imperial value measurement. This is where a lot of technicians get mistaken, is that they take this clearance volume and they add it to the volume that's created from the bore and the values don't work out because simply we need to convert this from cubic centimeters into cubic inches of displacement. So if we take that particular number and from prior videos and how we established it, we would take our 105.72 and divide it by 16.39 to give us a value of 6.45 cubic inches. So now that's a value that can be added into the formula for swept volume when we get to that particular point. Atmospheric pressure, we're doing nothing here because that's a nominal value. The mean effective pressure, this is a pressure value that I've established for this engine formula calculation. So we don't have to do anything with this one here. The next one we have to look at in Planck is the number of RPMs that the engine is running at. This is the actual revolutions per minute, but because the camshaft runs at half the speed, that gives us our valve timing events, we take that number here and we divide it by two because the cam is running at half the speed, and that gives us a value of 912 power strokes in this particular formula.